today we're gonna get real honest because I want to get up on my soapbox and I want to share some things that I hope will really encourage some of you if you are feeling like I go to these frugal blogs and I see that they're getting all these groceries for like $30. They're feeding their family of five or $25 a week. And what is my problem? Why can't I get it together? Why is it costing so much more for me to feed my family? If you've ever struggled with those thoughts, today is for you. I just want to encourage you today. I want to remind you of a few things. Number one, there is no right way to set up a grocery budget. So many people feel like when you say the word grocery budget, that means that you have to have this really low, low, low number and you have to do it in this certain way and it has to be this certain number and if it's not this crazy impressive number, you are doing something wrong. I just wanna encourage you, there's no right way to set up a grocery budget. The only right way is setting one up in any way and following through with it. All that matters is that you set one up that works for you and then you stick with it. So that's number one. Number two, there is no magic number. There is no magic number that is quote, the perfect grocery budget. There isn't. There is no magic number. You can read other blogs, you can read my blog, and you can feel like, oh my goodness, if I'm not feeding my family for $10 per person per week, I'm doing something wrong. Or $25 per person per week. I'm failing. No, there is no magic number. There isn't. The number that works for your family, that feeds your family well, that isn't stressing you out, is the perfect number for your family. There is no way to fail at a grocery budget unless you just don't even set one up in the first place. That's the only way to fail is not starting, not following through at all. Any amount that you choose that works with your income and takes care of your family's needs and doesn't make you miserable is a great amount. Number three, there is no grocery budget competition. Seriously, we need to stop with the guilt. There is no competition. You know the mommy wars, how it's like, you know, whether you should be a stay-at-home mom or you know, you should work, whether you should all you know daycare or whatever, you know, there's just so many mommy wars out there, and I hate I hate that term, mommy wars, but I feel like we almost have these grocery budget wars in the sense of that we feel like, you know, we feel like people are looking down on us. Like, I feel like sometimes I have to apologize for the fact that we raised our grocery budget. I, I know when I put that out there, I felt like I needed to apologize because I knew that I was going to disappoint some people. But here's the deal. This is not a competition. And guess what? I'm going to disappoint some people with my life. I'm going to disappoint some people with the choices that I make. It is inevitable. We can't please everybody. We can't do it as well as someone else. We don't have the same time. We don't have the same circumstances. We don't have the same kids. We don't have the same needs. Some of us have a very different situation than other people. So we can't compare it because it's not the same. When I compare my grocery budget to someone else's grocery budget, unless they have the exact same husband, the exact same kids, they live in the exact same area, they have the exact same dietary needs, they have the exact same season of life, the exact same everything, there's just no way I can compare it. So stop feeling like it's a competition. I want to stop making, uh, feeling like I need to apologize or almost like I need to preface it when I talk about our grocery budget to say, well, you know, back in the day, we, we kept our grocery budget really, really, really low. Like I need to explain away the fact that now our grocery budget is higher. Here's the deal. Guess what? We have three kids and those three kids aren't babies anymore. And my husband and I, we weight lift and we are eating on you know, specific nutritional plans and our kids are involved in activities and they are growing children. And so if I think that we can have the same grocery budget that we had whenever I had one baby, that's just insane. So stop with the competition 
feeling like it's a competition against other people and also that it's a competition against yourself, that there's something wrong with you if you have to raise your grocery budget. There is nothing wrong with you. There is no grocery budget competition. Pick a number that works for you, for your own needs, for your own family, for your own life, and don't apologize for it. I wanted to start it out with stepping up on my soapbox and just sharing with you these foundational truths that I wish I had grabbed hold of years ago and that now I'm just really walking into and that are setting me free. And I want you to find the same freedom too. You can create a grocery budget that works for your family. You can set one up that you are confident in, that you know you're gonna be able to stick with, that you know you're gonna be able to follow through with, and that you don't have to apologize for.